Apostolate of the Laity. Introduction. The Apostolate of the Laity is a term used in Christian theology to describe the mission and ministry of laypeople within the Church. The concept acknowledges and celebrates the unique role that laypeople play in the life and growth of the Church. And it emphasizes the importance of their active participation in the Church's mission to evangelize and transform the world. In this comprehensive theological explanation, we will explore the historical development, biblical foundations, theological underpinnings, and practical implications of the apostolate of the laity, as well as the challenges and opportunities that laypeople face in their apostolic work. Historical Development The apostolate of the laity has its roots in the early church, where laypeople played an essential role in the spread of Christianity. However, over time, the role of the laity became less prominent, as the church began to focus more on the ordained clergy's ministry. This shift led to a more passive role for laypeople, who were often seen as mere recipients of the sacraments and the clergy's teaching. The Second Vatican Council 1962-1965 marked a significant turning point in the understanding of the apostolate of the laity. The Council's dogmatic constitution on the Church, Lumen Gentium, emphasized the universal call to holiness and the shared responsibility of all the baptized in the Church's mission. This renewed understanding of the laity's role led to the development of various lay movements, apostolates, and ministries that aimed to empower laypeople to fulfill their baptismal call to evangelize and transform society. Biblical Foundations the apostolate of the laity is grounded in several key biblical texts that emphasize the role of all believers in the life and mission of the Church. The Great Commission Matthew chapter 28 19-20 entrusts all of Jesus' followers with the task of making disciples of all nations. In 1 Peter chapter 2 9, the Apostle Peter describes the Church as a chosen race, a royal priesthood a holy nation, a people for his own possession, highlighting the shared responsibility of all believers in proclaiming the gospel and offering spiritual sacrifices to God. The New Testament also offers examples of laypeople who played vital roles in the early church. Such as Priscilla and Aquila Acts 18.26, Phoebe Romans chapter 16 1-2, and the household of Stephanas 1 Corinthians chapter 16.15-16. These biblical foundations provide a strong basis for the apostolate of the laity and the importance of laypeople's active participation in the Church's mission. Theological Underpinnings The apostolate of the laity is rooted in several key theological concepts. The universal call to holiness the Second Vatican Council emphasized that all the baptized regardless of their state in life, are called to holiness and to participate in the Church's mission Lumen Gentium, 39-42. This call to holiness extends to laypeople, who are called to sanctify the world through their work, family life, and social engagements. The Priesthood of All Believers The concept of the Priesthood of All Believers, 1 Peter 2-9 affirms that all the baptized share in Christ's priestly, prophetic, and kingly roles. This shared priesthood empowers laypeople to participate in the Church's mission by offering spiritual sacrifices, proclaiming the gospel, and exercising Christ's kingship through acts of service and charity. The Complementarity of the Laity and the Clergy The Apostolate of the Laity recognizes the complementary roles of the laity and the clergy in the Church's mission. While the clergy's primary responsibility is to sanctify, teach, and govern, the Church, laypeople are called to sanctify the world by engaging in secular professions and activities, thereby bringing Christ's presence into the world. Practical Implications The apostolate of the laity has several practical implications for the life and mission of the Church. Lay formation To fulfill their apostolic mission Laypeople must be well formed in the faith and equipped with the necessary spiritual, intellectual, and pastoral tools. This formation includes catechesis, spiritual direction, and opportunities for theological and pastoral education. Lay participation in the Church's mission 
and laypeople are called to participate in various ministries and apostolates within the church, such as catechesis, liturgical ministries, social justice initiatives, and evangelization efforts. The evangelization of culture laypeople are uniquely positioned to evangelize and transform culture through their engagement in various professional, social, and cultural spheres, such as politics, education, media, and the arts. Challenges and Opportunities The apostolate of the laity faces several challenges and opportunities in the contemporary church. Secularization the increasing secularization of society presents both a challenge and an opportunity for laypeople. While secularization can lead to a marginalization of faith, it also provides laypeople with the opportunity to witness to the gospel in the midst of a secular world. Clericalism Overcoming clericalism, which places an undue emphasis on the role of the clergy at the expense of the laity, is essential for the flourishing of the apostolate of the laity. Encouraging a culture of shared responsibility and collaboration between the laity and the clergy can help to address this challenge. Formation and discernment Ensuring that laypeople are well-formed and able to discern their unique apostolic callings is crucial for the success of the apostolate of the laity. Providing adequate formation and discernment resources can help laypeople to embrace their baptismal call to evangelize and sanctify the world. Conclusion The apostolate of the laity is a vital aspect of the Church's life and mission, rooted in the biblical and theological understanding of the universal call to holiness and the priesthood of all believers. By embracing their unique roles and responsibilities within the Church and the world, laypeople can contribute significantly to the evangelization and transformation of culture thereby fulfilling their baptismal call to be disciples of Christ and witnesses to the gospel.